Welcome back to the MTV Hits Weekly Hot 30 Countdown. Maddie Acton and Erin McNaught with you. And also joining us in the studio is Roger Corsa. Hi, guys. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Round of applause. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, you are from the TV show Rush. Yes. Doing a great job on there, and um, which is always good to hear as well for an Australian TV series in its fourth season. I know. It's kind of unheard of, isn't it? Four yeah. whole big fat seasons. I love cop shows because, and I've told Erin this, I wanted to be a policeman growing up. And do, you get, do you go to the academy or...? No. No, no. They wouldn't oh, have let five, me you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I'd, I'd go to I the... would like to be uh, a police officer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I used to get, you know, the cap guns in the show bag and stuff yeah. like that. And then I realised as I got older, it wasn't actually about me wanting to do good in the community. I just wanted the shoot. power of having a gun on my belt. <laughs> just to shoot people. So maybe the other side you could have been good at. Yeah, yeah, possibly. <laughs> yeah. And my parents were really surprised I wasn't on the other side. Playing a cop in a show, it, do you feel like it? Do you feel like you've got that power almost? Now, if I was one of those professional actor types, I'd say no, but it's just great, really. Yeah. You, get to, <laughs> you get to shoot guns, you get to drive fast cars, you get to do things where they block off the roads in the middle of the city. Oh, and that's that. awesome. And it's just cops and robbers for grown-ups, and you get to run around and do that and, as a, you know, 30-something man and, yeah. uh, and, and, you know, have a great time. You know? That's so awesome. Um, do you do the stunts yourself? Like, some of them? Yeah, all, all, of, them? all of them. No. Uh, <laughs> look, we want to do as much as we can, but those... Uh, insurance companies don't let you. Yeah. So um, I think the best one we did was last year where we were um, on the engine of a speeding train and we were sort of hooked up with like a, a little um, uh, a fly harness but um, it's still cranking along at about 90 clicks an hour nice. and we're sort of climbing on the outside of the train to try and, you know, see the dead driver in there and the wind's rushing through and you're going, this is a pretty cool job. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. See, I, in my head all I'll be hearing is dun, dun. Da -da 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 is that from Dancing with the Stars? Oh, there was Mission uh, Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, I thought it was a tango. I, really I thought it was a tango or something. No, I started, started it halfway yeah, through. You started so. a really <laughs> odd part of that song. You should have just started uh, with the doodle doo bit. Now, um, you've played a cop uh, a few times. I, I, I do cop well. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're I, a great I, do, cop. I do many is shades it, of cop. <laughs> that, that, that's my acting range. Is it, do you think it's because you look like a good guy? I think it's because every third show on Australian TV is a cop show. Well, it has been, so <laughs> no, maybe not now with, uh, with a few other different sort of shows coming around. But, like, you know, over, over the, the ten years that I've been acting, there's been a fair share of cop shows. So, you know, if you're lucky enough to, to you know, get an audition um, for anything, it's usually a cop show. I tried to get into Underbelly as the bad guy, and this is a true story. <laughs> yeah, My mate was great. going, but I... I, I, I I didn't get anything because they were only casting sort of uh, rough heads, so to speak. And uh, so you're too good looking, is what you're saying. Well, no, no, maybe just too too preppy. Maybe I don't yeah. know. So I, I I had a bender with a mate, and um, he was going for a go see at, at the casting agent. I said, you know, I'll just stay up all night, drink heaps, and you know, stay out and go to the early openers, and then we'll go straight in, and I'll look like a, a rough head, <laughs> and go down, going, I'm here, and you know, what are you going to get? Trying to be a real idiot. Yeah. And um, then they went, that's great, you can play the cop. <laughs> so I, mean, I tried that, really, really hard. Australian covers. Yeah. <laughs> so, They're thinking of the wrong underbelly season. Wasn't the dodgy cops like the yeah. one beforehand? No, the one after. The, I one think after, the, one seven, after. This, the 70s one. Yeah. Oh. So I tried really hard to play a bad guy and they still gave me the cop role. Which, oh, the good thing about playing the cop role in underbelly is you, you don't die. So you're in like 13 eps as opposed to oh, yeah, two. Oh yeah, so, yeah. paycheck, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've also done your time on Home and Away. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I had, to, I had to think about that for I a did. second. No, I, no I, I'm a bit of a... Uh, I'm, I'm an acting tart of Australian TV, so I've been everything. with that. So, did yeah, no, it was, that was good. Uh, I think uh, Dr Hugh Tightpants was my name on that show. <laughs> so they just gave me really incredibly tight slacks to wear. Um, <laughs> do, do you think that there's any chance of... Um, of Australian actors not gracing Home and Away or Neighbours before kind of getting a bigger role? Well, I went the other way. I think I did one-hour drama and then went back to Home and Away and then went back to one-hour drama. The good, mm. I mean, the good thing about the soaps, that sort of stigma now is sort of gone. I mean, there's some great yeah. actors on. You turn Home and Away on now. There's some guys that have done a lot of great stuff on there. Because a lot of the actors, they do start there, is what we're saying. But mm. do you think, that, um, like you said, acting in Australia is getting better? Like, do you think there's more opportunity here now for actors rather than I everyone think, having to head overseas? I think there's always been incredible talent here. Yeah. I think, say, five or six years ago, maybe before Underbelly came out, there was only a couple of shows that uh, Australians would even watch or would rate in the top sort of 20, uh, where they were all, you know, CSI and all the big American sort of crime dramas were sort of big uh, on, on the telly. But, but now you look at how many 
locally produced shows are in the, the top 10, top 20. You know well, what I mean? You're on Spirited as well with Claudia Carvin. Yeah, and also yeah, cable that's... TV is investing a lot of money mm. in uh, sort of more niche type of dramas, and Spirited is one of those. It's it's very fun to it's do. It's an interesting show. It is it's a very really interesting cool. show. Yeah. So uh, there's, a, there's a ghost, and um, I get to play a real knob, which is really fun. <laughs> so my, my wife says, you know, it's the easiest gig I've ever had. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's not very nice. <laughs> All right, uh, mate, stick around. Uh, we're going to get back into this countdown. More coming up with Roger. This is Jess Malboy, Inescapable, on the MTV Hits Weekly Hot 30 Countdown. <laughs> Jess Malboy, that is Inescapable, the MTV Hits Weekly Hot 30 Countdown. On uh, with us right now from the TV show Rush, we have Roger Corsa. Thanks for coming in, mate. Pleasure. All right, now, uh, we actually have a little bit of information that you were in a band a long time ago. Or not, yeah. so, not so long ago, called Tender Prey. It was, well, it is, uh, sweetie, it was a long time ago. <laughs> We, we were the first to have those amplified instruments, you see, and um, no, that was a long time ago. Uh, it was uh, in the grunge era, the 90s back then. Oh, like so, 90, um, 95-ish? I'll take that late, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, were you a singer? I was a singer, but you didn't, you know, I mean, some grunge singers are great. You know, Eddie Vedder, you know, Chris Cornell, great. Some, not, not so great, you know. So uh, I was probably in the not so great. Oh, so they, they just they scream a lot, you know, and, you know, shake my hair. And I had hair down to here. It was very pretty. Oh, please tell me it was a mullet. See, that's for the love when you should have well, auditioned for, well, no, no, for no, Underbelly I, with the long hair. You yeah, totally no, it wasn't it. a mullet. It wasn't the 80s. It was the 90s. So uh, it was uh, more Eddie Vedder-esque, I suppose. But... Uh, Yes, yeah, so I realised uh, at about 24, 25 that uh, it probably wasn't the best career path. <laughs> so. so if someone said to you, though, that you could give up acting and go and do the music again... And they suddenly gave me a great voice and stuff yeah, yeah. and great songs. W would you go back to it in if a the second, opportunity? In a heartbeat. Yeah. And see, everyone says yeah, that. If so good. Everyone has had like had the go at the band thing. If it hasn't worked out, everyone's always wanted to do it. Um, though. I, yeah. I was in a punk band. We've, You're we've in a punk a, band. Yeah. I played oh. I played bass and backup vocals, and we've got a demo CD, and I would go back to it too. So, anyway, when, just that, those, those four notes that you knew. <laughs> 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 what are you dun, saying dun, dun, about dun. punk? No, 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 just, just chick bass players. <laughs> oh! Zing, 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 I was actually kind of good. I, I lived kinda, in Seattle. Kind of good. <laughs> yeah. kinda anyway, good. let's move along. Um, underbelly, <laughs> Razor, have you we're gonna, been We're going to bring the CD in next week, by the way, and play some of that. So just so you know. it's, not, it's not mixed very well. It's just oh, yeah, we, yeah, we didn't yeah. get a chance yeah. to yeah. We spent like 180 bucks on the studio. Anyway, um, Underbelly, Razor. Been watching it? We ha I've caught uh, more than half. Yeah, great. I'm a, I'm a massive fan. It is great. Now, the, uh, what do you think as an Australian actor? Is this going to keep going, this franchise of Underbelly? Do you think they're going to just keep make? They're going to have to make People stuff up keep eventually? keep doing bad stuff in Australia, so I suppose... Good point. Um, I mean, the story that we did in Underbelly probably has somewhere to go after they stopped it with us because the only reason they couldn't go forward is because of court injunctions and yeah. stuff. But they've, I think a lot of the guys have gone through the courts and some other people have been married. If you, if you, you know, go to a casting for a, a real, like a, a true story mm -hmm. and you have to play a criminal and they're still alive, do you worry that they might hate how you play their character? Yeah, and, like, it hasn't happened to me, but the guys in Underbelly won... They they met some of the, the oh, people. In fact, Cat, I'd Cat be Stewart. Shitting myself. Yeah, Cat Stewart. Cat yeah, Stewart is yeah, in Offspring yeah, now. Um, I think it was the uh, the first week of shooting, the first step of uh, Underbelly, and Roberta turned up on set and yeah. started sort of banging on the trailers and goes, <laughs> "Where's that?" And that stupid. And all this, sort of, oh. and so Kat was sort of like not here, and so the the AD had to go out and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, she's not on today," and she's sort of going. You'd almost want like you know how you get money for you know working on high buildings because there's like cause of death. You'd want extra <laughs> yeah, yeah. pay, wouldn't you? Like safety Dan money. Yeah, yeah, danger money. Danger money. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> danger, danger yeah. money. Yeah. Right, that into the contract. Roger, thank you so much for coming, in, mate. Pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. it. Make sure you check it out. Uh, Thursdays 8:30. Uh, you can see Rush on Channel 10. Uh, coming up still on the show, Steve Carell. You were lucky enough to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. And you're jealous. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we'll chat with him soon. This is MTV Hits Weekly Hot 30 Countdown.